Good morning all. Today, since it's sunny, I thought I'd charge the Jackery Explorer 240 using the Jackery Solar Saga 100 folding solar panel. And with the solar panel plugged into the power bank and a reasonably well charged battery, 87%, it's charging at 65 watts. Now it's slightly hazy today, so we could do a little bit better if uh, we didn't have that hazy cloud. However, that's not fantastic performance from a 100 watt solar panel. So I was wondering if I put a little bit of electronics gizmodery in between the solar panel and the Explorer 240, could I get a few more watts from the solar panel? Let's give it a try. So let's pull the solar panel cable out of the jackery and I'm going to reroute it round here and plug it into this which is a BST900 with the LCD display um, boost converter. So let's plug it into that and see what we get. So the 100 watt solar panel is plugged into the boost converter and on its display we can see that we're getting an open circuit voltage, virtually open circuit, there is a slight load by this converter itself. Uh, voltage of 21.6 or 7 volts and about 20 milliamps is being drawn and um, we're probably drawing a little bit for the microcontroller, the display and so on. So now let's connect the output of the boost converter and the boost converter is off so it's not going to boost into the power bank and see how many watts we get on the display and the answer is 59 watts so we're getting a bit less now that's not surprising because the incoming power from the solar panel is going through this inductor through the diode and out to the output you can see there the numbers now are 19 volts from the panel 3.24 amps so that if we work it out, probably comes to 59 watts. Now what happens if I switch the boost converter on? Now I've set the output voltage to 25 and a half volts because that seems to be optimum. So let's switch on. So now we're getting not really what I was hoping for. And that's probably because we haven't got enough sun. Okay, we'll have to wait. I think the sun is a little stronger now. So 62 watts into the jackery with the boost converter off. Let's turn it on. Make sure that output voltage goes to 25 volts, which it has. And now we're getting 79 watts. Now that's a power figure that we can't possibly get when the solar panel is plugged directly into the jackery. So we've got a power boost here. And that's achieved simply by raising the solar panel voltage. So let's repeat all of that. The solar panel directly into the power bank and we're getting 64 watts. The solar panel into the boost converter but with it switched off, which it now is. So that's just presenting an inline inductor which doesn't do anything for DC and a diode with a little bit of voltage drop that's producing 60 watts now let's switch the boost converter on make sure we're getting our 25 volts and that's producing 78 watts so we've got a gain of now what was it 64 up to 78 so we've got a gain of 14 watts by using an inline boost converter between the Solar Saga 100 and the Explorer 240. So how can we get more power into the jackery from the solar panel by inserting this piece of electronics in between them? Well, it's about matching. It's about ensuring that the load presented to the solar panel is optimum so that it reaches its maximum power point and here oh the sun's gone in which doesn't help anything much 
So it seems that maximum power is obtained into the Jacquerie's batteries when the charging circuit, the solar circuit, receives about 25 to 26 volts. Now the problem is the solar panel directly connected is only achieving about 20 volts, um, maybe 19, maybe 21. So here we can see that 60 watts with the boost converter turned off, turn it on, 78 watts, turn it back off, back down to 60 watts, turn it back on, back up to 78 watts. Let's do that again but with the boost converter in shot. So here we can see the Jackery charging at 59 watts, 60 watts. Let's turn the boost converter on and we get 80 watts. Turn the boost converter off, back down to 60 watts. Turn it back on and we're boosting again up to 80 watts. Now there's no external power being inserted into this circuit. That boost converter is being powered by just the solar panel, but it just changes the voltage that goes into the Jackery to match it better with the charging circuitry so that we get 80 watts rather than 60 watts. So to sum up, if you want to charge your Jackery Explorer 240 from the Solar Saga 100 panel and you want something like 10 to 15 additional watts of charging, get a boost converter and shove it in between the two. Cheerio!